Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aquarius. Aquarius, this is your mint monthly reading for July 15th to the 31st, 2021. <clears throat> this is a general, a love slash general reading. So I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna use the tea leaf deck. I'm gonna pull one card for your love life and one for general. But right now, I'm gonna pull you guys an angel answer, an angel number, and I'm gonna do a money affirmation. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started for time's sake. What is Aquarius's uh, angel answer for mid-July? And we have reconsider. <clears throat> reconsider. So let me read it. So reconsider. There is an element of your plan that should be re-evaluated. Take some time to really go through your project or proposal thoroughly. Share your intentions with a trusted friend or advisor who can give you ob objective feedback. <clears throat> Ask your angels for guidance. This is not the moment to make the change in your life that you're considering. A better time will come, or you'll realize that you wish to choose a different kind of transformation for yourself. So that's your angel answer. Let me pull your angel number. What is Aquarius angel number, mid-July? 15th to the 31st, 2021. 999, I am unique. Unique. So I say, thank the past for your lessons and leave it where it belongs so you can make the best of the life that is still waiting to be fulfilled by only you. 999, that's your angel number. So, <clears throat> money affirmation. What is Aquarius... No, just one. What is Aquarius money affirmation mid July 2021? What is Aquarius money affirmation mid July? July 15th to the 31st. <clears throat> I am smart and successful. So that's your money affirmation. I am smart and successful. I'm gonna post this in the description, my description box, as well as the comment section. So your money affirmation will be posted. And I might do um, your angel answer and your angel number as well. I might post that too in the description box. But definitely your money affirmation will be posted in um, the comment section and the description box. So, at the bottom of this deck we have X. Forces working against you. At the bottom of this deck we have the six of coins, the six of pentacles. At the bottom of the issues that we have pacify. Constantly having to soothe and accommodate them to make peace. Pacify. Um, at the bottom of this deck, we have confused. And at the bottom of the Kipper deck, we have imprisonment. <clears throat> so, Aquarius, you could be going through hell a little bit. Um, it could be little annoyances. Um, some, I'm picking up several things. Two of Pentacles energy, everyday life. You could be have a lot of responsibilities. You probably have children. And it's like the little things. And it's like everything adding up. And you probably want to make some type of change due to pressure. But because you're under pressure, Aquarius, you might want to... Your angel answer is reconsider. Um, you don't want to make life changes when you're under pressure. And not thinking, having a clear mind. I'm picking that up a little bit. So... Give me a tea leaf for Aquarius love life. Mid-July 2021. Uh, nope, just one. Just one. Mm -mm. Ooh. Aquarius love life. Okay. So we have unsuccessful plans. Not unsuccessful plans. Give me a general... For Aquarius, mid-July. A general message. Okay, yeah. Fly. A period of ill health and depression. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a Kipper message for Aquarius love life. For not. Unsuccessful plans. Sudden wealth. Give me a Kipper message for Aquarius general message. Fly. A period of ill health depression. Okay, we have main female. 
and it came out sideways and I'm gonna leave it like that so the main female to me in this deck is a karmic so Aquarius I don't I'm gonna clarify to see if that's a karmic and if it's a karmic if it's you or somebody else what's going on with Aquarius love life with unsuccessful plans and sudden wealth yeah five of cups five of cups um Aquarius you and your person I don't know if you're single or not but Aquarius I don't know if you and your person could be um in business together something to do with some money Aquarius you or your lover somebody has um five cups something someone had unsuccessful plans to a possible sudden wealth some type of money you and your person could have been expecting and it didn't happen Five of Cups, emotional regrets and losses. Aquarius, this don't have to be you. This could be a lover. And they expected some sudden wealth from you. And you probably didn't give it to them. Aquarius, you or somebody else could have water in your chart. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Clarify the Five of Cups. Yeah. The, oh, yeah. The lover's in reverse. Yeah. Aquarius, you or somebody else is a karmic. The lover's in reverse. Um, Aquarius, you and somebody else could have made a bad decision the lovers in reverse is like a foolish decision this could be you not being compatible with someone because somebody's a karmic yeah so the lovers <clears throat> that's gemini <clears throat> uh aquarius you could be your person could be a gemini or you could have gemini in your chart yeah yeah clarify the lovers in reverse Aquarius, if you're with someone in a relationship, something to do with your finances, you could possibly take a loss because of a decision your person makes. Clarify the lovers in reverse. Yeah, the page of wands. The page of wands. Yeah. Um, the page of wands. Somebody could be a fire sign, a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Aquarius, I don't know if you have to break the news to somebody. Or Aquarius, something happened in your love life with some money. This sudden wealth could also be love. It don't have to be money. So Aquarius, I don't know if you thought your love life was going on a brick of success. Like you could be with someone and thought this person was the one. And you find out that they could possibly be a karmic. So that sudden wealth could either be love or money. But somebody has is five cups. Somebody makes a foolish decision or is with a karmic. And it's like the page of wands. <clears throat> that page of wands. Let me see if that's you, Aquarius. The page of wands. Is this Aquarius? The page of wands. Is this Aquarius? Yeah. Aquarius, I think you're going to... Whatever this... Whatever this loss is, a disappointment, you're leaving it behind because you're the page of wands. So you're leaving this five of cups behind, whether this five of cups is you or the, a lover. But you're leaving this five of cups, the lovers in reverse, a bad decision. You're leaving all that behind. So if you made mistakes in your love life in the past, Aquarius, you could be single mid-July. It's like you're just going to leave it in the past. You thought something was going to work. It didn't work out. But it's like you page of wands and you got that your back turned. To like the negativity. So you're very optimistic about your future. Yeah. So this sudden wealth with unsuccessful plans. And this five of cups. Could be something that happened in the past. It could have been a recent past or the far past. But it's like mid-June. It's like you're picking yourself back up. And it's like you're going to dry your tears. You're getting up and you're just going to carry on. Very optimistic. You're ready to like leave the past in the past. You made a mistake, made the wrong choice. And it's like you're ready to move on. You're very optimistic, very positive. Yeah, because you're probably single, Aquarius. A relationship probably didn't work out. Or you and your lover could have made financial bad financial decisions in the past. And it could be affecting your relationship. But Aquarius, you're ready to leave the past in the past. That's what I'm picking up mid-July. You're very optimistic and you ready to move on. Yeah, you ready to move on. So, let me put an issue on this. What's the issue with Aquarius' love life? Yeah, argue wars came out in reverse. Yeah, 
Aquarius, you ain't arguing about this. Argue Wars came out in reverse. And the unknown came out in reverse. So you're very aware of your error, what went, what went wrong in this relationship or your love life. You're realizing whether you're a male or female. You're realizing what went what went wrong, where you could have gone wrong, where your lover could have gone wrong. And you're not arguing about it no more. You're not arguing about it. You getting up out of that negativity. Yeah. So what was the issue with sudden wealth and not unsuccess unsuccessful plans with Aquarius? Wandering eye, yeah. Big flirt, offensive behavior, and sensitive. Yeah. So Aquarius, you and your person, you and this lover, somebody had a wandering eye. That was your issue, Aquarius. That's why somebody's plans was unsuccessful because somebody had a wandering eye. Aquarius, you definitely could have been in, in a relationship with a karmic. And you thought, you know, you probably thought he was the one. You probably thought it was your divine masculine or your divine feminine. And you found out this person had wandering eye. So it's like, y'all could probably still be together. But Aquarius, you ain't sharing your sudden wealth with this, with this person. If this is money, it's like, you probably got some money, but you're not sharing with your person. Because you found out your person was a cheater. Something like that. Yeah. Let me see. The Five of Cups. Is this Aquarius? Which I think it is, but I'm going to ask anyway. The Five of Cups. Is this Aquarius? Yeah, that, yeah, Aquarius. That's you. Yeah, you have emotional regrets and losses. Yeah. Yeah. You probably thought this person was the one. And you found out they had a wandering eye. If you was married to this person, Aquarius, or um, in a relationship with them... They, I don't know. They could have been giving y'all money to the third party or something. Yeah, something crazy like that. Could have been giving y'all money to away to the third party, sharing y'all money with the third party. Something like that could have been going on. Yeah. What is, what was Aquarius' issue in that Five of Cups? Why was Aquarius Five Cups? Yeah. Too questionable. No treats. Okay, so too questionable. Questions everything and ask too many damn questions. So Aquarius, I don't know. You could have been the cheater, Aquarius. Because it say your issues was somebody was asking you too many damn questions. So you had emotional regrets and losses because somebody was asking you too many damn questions. Or Aquarius, it's like your issue was in the with this five of cups, you could have been questioning your person. And it's like you went questioning and your person answered you. So it's like you got what you was asking for. Whatever you was looking for because you was asking too many damn questions, your person told you. And it was it probably was something you didn't want to hear. Yeah. And no treats. Hardly takes you out on dates. Little effort in, in entertaining you. Yeah, Aquarius. Yeah, that's what happened. You could have been with a karmic Aquarius. And um, you went to looking for answers. You was asking your person too many damn questions, and they answered you. Cause Aquarius, I'm picking up. You wanted to know why you weren't getting, why you were getting no treats. That was your issue. Your person was hardly taking you out on dates. Little effort in entertaining you. Yeah. And you went to ask, and you wanted to know what's going on. And your person probably told you, "I have a wandering eye. I got somebody else. Something like that." Yep. So let me go over here to your general message. Yeah. So what's going on with Aquarius with fly, a period of ill health and depression with uh, main female sideways? Oh, uh, Queen of Wands in reverse. Uh oh, let me see what's going on. Clarify the Queen of Wands in reverse. What the? Let me put it. Um, I had the deck backwards, <clears throat> so I'm going to put it in the upright. So we got the Queen of Wands in the upright and the Queen of Cups. Okay. So your general message, Aquarius, you or somebody else is going to go through a period of ill health and depression. Mid-July, the main female coming out sideways. Is this Aquarius? Is this Aquarius? No. Aquarius, um... If you are a female Aquarius, I don't, Aquarius, you could be single or you're, you're going through a breakup mid-July or you've been broken off with, with this lover here. 
that you found out probably had a wandering eye. And this main female is a karmic. It's not you. Main female. Is this a karmic? Yeah. That main female is a karmic. This main female could have been the person your person was cheating with while you was with them. But she's in her masculine energy. Um, A period of ill health and depression. Is this Aquarius? I don't think this is you Aquarius. No, that's not you. Aquarius, your general for your general message. Your ex and or his karmic. Somebody is going through a period of ill health and depression. And I think it's the karmic. Aquarius, if you are a female and your person, your lover, whether you single or not. Whoever he was cheating on you. Who, who, this karmic here. I think they're going through a breakup. And it's like this karmic is going through a period of ill health and depression. Or your ex is going through this. And it could be the fact that the karmic could have broken off with him. Yeah, the karmic could have broken off with him. And it's like... She was the other woman. The queen of wands. This karmic could have been a fire sign. A Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius. Don't have to be. But it's like she a karmic. And she could get back with her ex. Yeah. So I don't know if your person break it off with the karmic or the karmic break up with your person. But I think the karmic might break up with your person. And Aquarius, you might hear about it. That's probably why you the page of wands. Because it's like you like that's what he get. He played me. It's like your person might get their karma. Yeah. So it's like the karmic already sideways. She could be coming out her mouth sideways to your person. She could be going through, a, somebody going through a period of ill health and depression. But it's like Aquarius, you might get news about what's going on with your ex and his new lover, the karmic. But it's like, you don't care. You don't care. You over it. You don't care. But it kind of make you feel a little bit better. Because it's like, he left me, so that's what he gets. She leaving him. Something like that. Or he left me, so why she? why she upset? He's doing to her what he did to me. Something like that going on. Let me see. This Queen of Cups. Is this the main female? This Queen of Cups. Is this the main female? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Aquarius. Whether you a male or female. You're probably single Aquarius. And you're going to find out. Or you probably don't care. Or you probably don't know. But. Gen in general. I think your person is cheating on. The person he left you for. Yeah. And this karma is going to take action. Towards the other woman. And it could be a, a water sign. A Pisces. A Cancer. Or a Scorpio. Yeah. Because it's like the karma was, was the other woman. When you was with your person. The karma was the other woman. And it's like mid-July, this karmic is still going to be the other woman because your person got this queen of cups. Yeah. And this karmic is going to take action towards the queen of cups. Yeah. So it's like Aquarius, your person was cheating on you with the karmic. And now he's cheating on the karmic with the queen of cups. Yep. So your person, your ex, your person, and that karmic, Going through a period of ill health and depression. Yeah. So what's the T with this main female coming out sideways? And the Queen of Wands. What's what's the no, what's the issue? What's the issue with fly with this uh main female? Yeah, slick moves. Allowing shit to slide, trying to get away with shit. Yeah. So Aquarius. The karmic is getting karma. And she's gonna find out your person was making slick moves. And she was, she this karmic was allowing shit to slide. But she knew your person was trying to get away with shit. So she probably went to looking, searching, and found out about that Queen of Cups. Because the karmic's issue is slick moves. Or this karmic is going to make a, slip, a slick move and confront the Queen of Cups. The other woman. Yeah. Yep, yeah, something like that going on. What is this Queen of Cups issue? What's the Queen of Cups issue? 
Ooh. Yeah, <clears throat> public issues. Yeah. So this karmic might um, embarrass the Queen of Cups in public. Because the karmic is going to take action towards that Queen of Cups. Public issues. Put relationships, business out there. Yeah. Queen of Cups. Yeah. So, yeah. The karmic is going to publicly embarrass that Queen of Cups. Yeah. Yep. That's what the karmic going to do. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. What's the tea with uh, Aquarius love life with unsuccessful plans and sudden wealth? Yeah, curious about you. Curious about you? That was the tea. So, Aquarius, I'm picking up that you were unique because your angel number is you're unique. It's telling you you are unique. You didn't just start being unique mid-July. You've always been unique. So, what I'm picking up was your past relationship or your love life was not successful because whoever you were with, they didn't love you. They was curious about you. So, this person probably admired you, but this person didn't really love you. They just admired you. Um, and you could have gotten into the relationship thinking it was one thing, but this person... They have a wandering eye. That's what this person does. Your person, your ex, this person has a wandering eye. This person was curious about you. They probably just initially wanted to have sex with you. And you thought it was something more. And you found out this person got a wandering eye. Yeah, but I'm picking up this person really didn't genuinely love you. They was just curious about you because you're unique. So... Yeah, that's what happened. That's the tea with that. That's why in the past, your love life wasn't successful. Yeah. Or mid-July, it's like you're going through a breakup or something. But that's, that was the tea. Yeah. Or it's letting me know, Aquarius, you were with this person. And it's like you became curious as to why your person wasn't giving you no treats. And you went to looking and, you know, and you found out your person had a wandering eye. Yeah. What's the tea with the five of cups and lovers in reverse? Yeah, groupie came out in reverse. Yeah. Whew. Aquarius, whether you a male or female, your ex is a karmic. And your ex, you wasn't the only woman. But it's like you were probably the main female. You probably was the main one. Maybe even married to your person. You was the main Cause you wasn't a groupie, but he had groupies around him. Yeah. Your person had a lot of women. But you were probably like the main one. Yeah. What's the T with the page of wands? Yeah, fake flexing. Ax rich, flosses money, ax fancy shows off. Yeah. So Aquarius. I don't know if this is you, fake flexing. It's like you still probably hurt a little bit about the past, but it's like you optimistic. So it's like you could just be going out having a good time, bullshitting around, getting your mojo back. You're going to fake it till you make it. So I'm picking up Aquarius. You might not be fully recovered from this breakup, but you're going to fake it till you make it. Bump that. I ain't sitting in the house crying no more. I don't care if I'm still broken down hurt. I'm not sitting in the house crying. Aquarius... In your mind, if you got a fake flex, that's what you're going to do. Because if that's a part of your healing, you got to do what you got to do. But I'm picking up Aquarius, all that crying and all that self-pity. You you done with that. So it's not as bad as it was before. But in your mind, Aquarius, if you got to fake it till you make it, if you got to act like you're over your ex to get over him, that's what you're going to do. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, what's the tea with this fly, a period of ill health and depression? Yeah, talking shit came out in reverse. Yeah. So, Aquarius, what I'm picking up, the karmic who your ex left you for, they're going to find out your ex was cheating on them. And this person going to stop talking shit about you. Because they're going to realize whatever you were saying or whatever you was going through, they're going to go be going through the same thing mid-July. This karmic here. Yep. This karmic gonna shut up. Cause she's gonna realize that your person, your ex, have a wandering eye. 
Yeah, she gonna stop talking shit about you. Because she's gonna find out your person is dealing with the Queen of Cups. Yeah. Yep. So, what's the tea with, um... This Queen of Wands. Because that's the karmic. Um, the karmic could be, a, um... Your person's karmic Aquarius could be a fire sign, a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius. What's the tea with the Queen of Wands? Facts. Yeah, no facts. Um, never has the facts. She makes shit up. Yeah. So, in the past, Aquarius, your ex's karmic was talking shit about you. But she ain't had the facts. She ain't had the facts. And unbeknownst to her, she was the other woman. She was the other woman. Yeah, unbeknownst to her. But she's going to find out mid-July. She's going to find out and she's going to stop talking shit about you. Yep. So whatever your person did to you, that's what he that's what he doing to the karmic. And she's going to find out mid-July. And she's going to stop talking shit about you. Yep. What's the tea with this Queen of Cups? Because this is new girlfriend. This Queen of Cups. What's the tea with the Queen of Cups? What's the tea with the Queen of Cups? Yeah. Inside scoop. A closer look. Nosy. Up in your business. Yeah. This Queen of Cups going to find out too. This Queen of Cups. She's going to get a closer look. Yeah. This Queen of Cups going to find out too. She going to find out too. She going to get confirmation that your person, your ex is a player. Yeah. Because she going to get a closer look. When that Queen of Wands, that karmic take action towards her, that Queen of Cups, she gonna know. Yep. Tell me more about Inside Scoop. Tell me more about the Inside Scoop with this Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups gonna get the whole story. Yeah. Same shit, different day. Same shit, different day. I don't know if the karmic... The karmic could be bullying that Queen of Cups. Let me see. This Queen of Cups, is this Aquarius? That Queen of Cups, is that Aquarius? No, okay, yeah. That Queen of Cups is another female. Or your persons, or your ex. Yeah, this karmic is going to be um, harassing and bullying that Queen of Cups. Publicly. Yeah, she's going to go after that Queen of Cups. Yeah. Yep. Your person's karmic, that karmic, she's going to be harassing that Queen of Cups. A closer look nosy up in your business. That karmic going to be up in that, that Queen of Cups business. And it's going to be like the same shit, different day. That karmic going to be harassing that Queen of Cups. She going to be, yeah, I don't know if she's stalking her. Yeah, she could be bashing her online, Facebook, Twitter. Yeah, she's going to, yeah, she's going to be harassing that Queen of Cups. Your, your, that karmic, yeah. And she, mm, same shit, different day. That karmic going to be up in that Queen of Cups business and harassing her like every day, all day. Mid-July. Yeah. Because this karmic is going through a period of ill health and depression. Because she's going to find out about that Queen of Cups. And that could be your ex as well, Aquarius. Going through that period of ill health. Because it's like these two women is fighting over him. And it's like he probably get exposed. So that could be your ex too. Going through a period of ill health and depression. Yeah. So Aquarius, I'm going to leave it at that. That's what I have for you for mid-July. This was like a mini love slash general reading. And, it, you know, love still came up on the general side. So, that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Aquarius, please keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with you. Some parts might resonate. Other parts might not resonate. So, just keep that in mind, Aquarius, as well. Keep in mind that timing is fluid. So, this energy can manifest mid-July, the 15th to the 31st. It can manifest or it can manifest later on down the line in time. So, Aquarius, just keep that in mind. Um, this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. Thank you, Aquarius.